Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. To conclude our video series of KDE Plasma, I thought I'd take a look at how you can change and customize the Plasma desktop environment. So let's see what we can achieve. Plasma widgets. Plasma is built on widgets. Everything you see from a menu to a notification icon to a panel is a widget. You can arrange them however you like, resize them and add them to a panel. The best thing about this is that you can pretty much make a desktop that looks any way you want, combining widgets in any number of ways. A nice feature is also activities. Activities kind of work like virtual desktops, except you can have a different desktop behavior and different widgets between each activity. Be careful though, panels are the same between each activity, so removing one panel on an activity will remove it from all activities. Panels. Panels are the base of KDE's Plasma layout. A panel can be created on any screen edge, top, right, left or bottom. To create a panel, you can just right-click the desktop and select Add Panel. You'll get the option to add the default panel with its menu, taskbar, notifications and clock, a menu bar panel, which is just an empty panel on the top of the screen with a global menu bar added, or just create an empty panel for you to fill in with widgets. Panels are shared between activities, so removing one will remove it from all activities. You can configure a panel's height and size by clicking on the three lines icon on the right of the panel. Widgets. Adding a widget is simple. Just right click on the desktop and select Add Widgets. A sidebar will show up and let you search or browse available widgets. Just drag the one you want to add where you want it to be, on the desktop or on a panel. You can right click a widget and configure it to make it behave or look the way you want it to. All widgets will use the desktop theme you selected, for example Breeze or Oxygen. To resize or move a widget, you can click the main desktop menu up top, with the three lines. This will make a few icons appear aside every widget. The first icon allows you to resize by dragging it to the desired size. The second one will let you rotate the widget, also by dragging the icon. The third icon is the one you'll want to click to configure the widget's behavior. The little red trash can icon removes the widget, and by dragging the small area with the icons, you can move the widget wherever you want it to be. Ok, so these are the basics, you might already know them. Now what widgets are available? Well, by default, Plasma ships with a ton of widgets. A few highlights are these ones. Application Dashboard. This one allows you to get a button that, when clicked, will display a dashboard much like what GNOME offers by default. It allows you to search applications or widgets and start them with one click, as well as providing system commands such as rebooting or shutting down. Application Menu. For those who don't like the default kickoff KDE menu, the application menu might do the trick. It stores your favorites on the bar on the left and only displays app categories, which you can navigate quickly to start any app. It, of course, has search integrated. Color Picker. For graphic designers, this is a handy one. Just drag it on the desktop or on a panel and it allows you to pick any point on the desktop, grab the color and save it in a little menu for later reference. Display Configuration. This one is a new addition to KDE Plasma 5.14. It allows you to quickly switch between display layouts and enable presentation mode if you're giving a lecture or a talk, for example. Global Menu. Mac OS X fans will love this option. Adding a global menu to a panel allows you to get the menus out of your windows and into a unique zone on your desktop. It will work with GDK apps and KDE apps, but some applications might require an optional package or not work with it at all. Icons Only Task Manager. The default task manager has the older Windows style. It hosts windows with the icon and text. If you want to get closer to a dock style panel or to the Windows 10 way of doing things, this one only displays the icons of the applications that are running. Present Windows. You want to get a quick button to see all your open windows at a glance? The present window widget will do just that, mimicking the expose feature of Mac OS X. Quick Launch. If you want to have quick access shortcuts to some applications, the Quick Launch Plasmoid will do the trick. Just drag and drop apps from the menu onto it, and it will create handy shortcuts for each application. Web Browser Widget. Do you want to keep an eye on a particular web page? Just add this widget to your desktop and select which URL you want. Of course, these are some of the default widgets, but you can install a lot more from the trusty Get New Widget buttons. You can find any type of Plasmoid here, such as Places, for a handy menu of most recent and important locations on your drive, or inline battery for a quick view of the battery left in your device with the percentage. Some others can be installed through packages or external files, such as Latte Dock, a plasmoid that mimics the Mac OS X Dock. Changing the layout. Now it's up to you to try and experiment with the layout you want. Here are a few examples I made. 
Mac OS X clone. For this one, I just added the new panel menu bar to my desktop, on which I dragged the application menu, the notification tray, as well as the clock and the user switcher. For the dock, I installed Latte Dock, which I could install quickly on KDE Neon by typing sudo apt install Latte Dock in a terminal. Windows 10 style. The KDE default is already pretty close to Windows 10, so I just replaced the standard task manager with the icons only task manager, and added a show desktop icon on the far right corner of the panel, and the present Windows widgets on the right of the menu. Elementary OS style. For this one, I created a top panel, on which I added the simple menu plasmoid, the digital clock, on which I added the date in long format, and the notification tray on the right. I also added panel spacers between each widget to allow me to center the clock. I also added a small panel with Latte Dock on the bottom of the screen to get the dock experience. I configured it to disable the zoom and everything was set. But that's not all. You can also get into the layout settings to change everything with one click. You can download some new themes that will change the desktop color theme, the widget theme, and also the desktop layout entirely. That is one of the best features of KDE. Those themes will just modify everything to give you a one-click install of a complete layout and theme package, as well as icon themes. Here are some examples. So, this concludes our tour of Plasma widgets and layouts, with a few examples of what you can do. I think I'll leave KDE Plasma for the time being, returning to my beloved elementary OS, since I have something big in the making. I plan on starting a video series much like this one for other desktop environments, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.